Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today I will show you how to make this really refreshing and light Asian cucumber salad. I make it all the time in the summer as a barbecue side dish and it comes together quickly and what I like best is that it's made two hours ahead of serving which gives me plenty of time to work on my main dishes. As always, full list of ingredients and recipe is in the description of the video. I will start by peeling and removing the seeds from the cucumber. Both peeling and removing the seeds is optional, and it really depends on what kind of cucumber you have. In my case, these cucumbers have kind of a tough skin and seeds, so I will go ahead and remove them. To remove the seeds, just cut the cucumber in half and scrape the seeds out with a spoon. Then slice the cucumbers into half moons and place them in a bowl. For the red onion, I'll cut it in half and slice the red onions as thinly as you can. The thin slices will absorb the marinade much easier. So as you place the red onions in the bowl, just try to break it up so they mix in together more evenly and you don't get big bites of onion. Now let's work on our Asian inspired dressing. Add 1 third cup of rice vinegar, about one and a half teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. It has a nice toasty and nutty smell and taste and you really don't need a lot of it to get the full flavor. Now add one teaspoon of sugar or honey and it will balance out the tartness of the vinegar and finish it off with a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix it all up really well. And now for the final touch, I'll add sesame seeds. I'm adding white seeds and black seeds. Now you don't need both colors, but it does look really pretty together. Give it a good mix again. And now we're ready to cover the salad and place it in the fridge to marinate for about two hours. Once you're ready to serve, add a little bit of red pepper flakes for a bit of a spice kick. Now this is optional, but I think it really elevates the flavor. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more sesame seeds. And now we're ready to eat. If you enjoyed this recipe, please hit the like button and let me know what you thought about this recipe in the comments.